Welcome to Entertainment Circle. I'm Sheila Paz and I am a T-Pack. And if you are a fan of uh, I Love Lucy, I got her here for you. <laughs> Bienvenidos a Entertainment Circle. Yo soy Sheila Paz. Y si usted es fanático del show Yo Amo a Lucy con Lucille Ball y Desi Arnaz, aquí los tengo para ustedes. How are you? Very, Very good. good. How are you? How are you? It's great to be here. Who's going to talk first? <laughs> Let her talk first. Go ahead. Just like in the show, talking over she each other. A little bit more. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the casting process. How did you go to the audition and how did you know that you were cast? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, the audition, it was a number of years ago when we, when we did that. And uh, they did it with, uh, you know, of course, reading some of the scripts and, of course, singing some songs and dancing. And um, the producers told me afterward that they raised their eyebrows at me because when they did a dance rehearsal, they said, all the, you know, everybody get a partner. And all the guys were screwing to get a partner. And there were a lot of girls, and, I, you know, I couldn't choose, so I just put my hands up, and the girls came to me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, there you go. And, and that's how it goes and for And that's him. how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Always the girls go for the right, hot right. guy, right? <laughs> He leads a charmed life. <laughs> so what about you? Uh, for me, I was called by the director who asked me to come in. And uh, they asked that I perform, uh, pre prepare Vitamita Vegemin and a song and be prepared to improvise. So uh, I madly went to watch some I Love Lucy. I didn't come with a lot of knowledge of the show. I had an idea of what it was, but I didn't have anything concrete. And... Um, and I prepared Vitamita Benjamin, went in there. I was able to improvise a bit with Bill, who had already been cast by this point, and um, just had a good time. Awesome. Uh, how long after the casting uh, process were you ready to start memorizing the scripts and the songs? How long uh, did it take for that process to go on? Uh, so, well, we, um, once we knew which episodes we were going to do, we started right away. And then we, uh, uh, of course, started to research right away, too, and research not only on the show, but on the, on the time period, the history, and, uh, and, and for me, uh, what was happening in Cuba, and, and all that stuff of the time period. And then we uh, just rehearsed and practiced for a while. And since uh, we've done the show in L.A. and in Chicago and then with this national tour, each time we, uh, I feel we're learning it more and more, so we're yeah. still... You know, and the audiences inform what we what we do and what we what we learn as well. Is it really hard for you to memorize all the different lines in the songs and stay in character? No, I mean, what's difficult? It's not the memorization. What's more difficult is really trying to capture the essence of who mm. this person is. I mean, this is Lucy Ricardo, and uh, and she means a lot to a lot of people, and she's deeply embedded in our hearts. So uh, I wanted to make sure that the work that I was doing was going to be something that people recognized, and also something that um, was bursting forth from me as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, Lucille Ball, who is an incredible genius <laughs> and who I bow down to and worship, and I'm so glad to be able to to play in the in the playground that she built, essentially. Um, but uh, but I'm also bringing myself, and and Bill is bringing you know, himself. We're all doing that. We're mm -hmm. all you know. We are are not impersonators. And Rick Sparks, our director, told us from the beginning he really wanted us to capture the essence of these characters, but to live truthfully in the moments. And so we're dealing with these incredible scripts and uh, getting the opportunity to play with them. But the show is is a lot more than just the filming of the episodes uh, of, of I Love Lucy. Mm -hmm. It's as if you're going back in time. It's the early 1950s. The audience is a studio audience member at a filming of two episodes of I Love Lucy. And we have... And we have a, a group called the Crystal Tone Singers that sing live commercials of the time and some of the popular songs of the time period, too. Mm -hmm. And they also double as our guest stars in the episodes. And we have a, a host, uh, which is what they do in sitcoms to mm -hmm. this day, and that's yes. why uh, I Love Lucy was so groundbreaking. They mm -hmm. set the stage for how sitcoms are done now. And this host uh, guides the audience through the show. Uh, he's very much of the 1950s, and, and it really transports the audience uh, back to that time. And 
It was and a lot of laughter and a lot we of fun. Can't, we cannot forget the Ricky Ricardo Orchestra, right. who was also oh. there on stage. Seven musicians that are absolutely incredible, and Bill gets to sing songs with them. And uh, he often, you, you will hear people screaming, mostly women, <laughs> screaming in the audience. <laughs> but that's, I can't numbers. wait to see it. I can't <laughs> wait to see all that. And, and for you as a Latino, what does it mean to play such a great character like Desi Arnaz in I Love Lucy? Well, it is an honor. Um, you know, uh, I Love Lucy was very groundbreaking. It also uh, broke some barriers of portraying an uh, intercultural uh, marriage. Mm -hmm. And and Desi Arnaz was a, a very much a good businessman, not only a good actor as, as this. He doesn't get much credit for this, mm -hmm. but there couldn't be a Lucy without a Ricky. And that, Absolutely. Uh, and yeah. and his his timing, his comic timing, and the setups that he has to do as the straight man to her clown was so important. And so uh, for me taking on this role, I uh, I knew the, uh, it, it's an honor. And so I, I try to uh, remember that all the time. And for me as a as a Latino, it's uh, it's good to get in touch with that um, those cultural roots. Having grown up here in the United States. Um, it's, it's nice to see what happened with history, mm -hmm. and I'm that representation for that, and that, uh, uh, that representation for an audience as well, that they can see that, and see the fun that an American uh, wife and a, a Hispanic uh, a husband would have <laughs> with, with <laughs> the <Believe> challenges. Me. <laughs> it happened in my yes. house. I'm a Latina and my husband is a gringo, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I know the feeling. Very good, so yeah. Good. Uh, so one last thing, uh, could you do a quick line as Lucy and, and Desi <laughs> for us, for our audience? Sure. Ah, how's that for a line? Ay, 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 ay. Awesome. <laughs> well, there you have it. Make sure you buy your tickets to come and see them. Before they leave, they're going to be here three weeks. So I'm going to see the show tomorrow night. So you buy your tickets today. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Have a great time on this on the show and in Nashville. And, and I'm you. sure we will see you around for a long time. Good, yeah. I hope so. Thank you very much. And stay tuned for more Entertainment Circle. <laughs>